OK. On the left-hand side, we have a score called Floating World 3, which sounds like this. And on the right-hand side, we have a Reaper file where we have that playing like this. On the left-hand side, we have another score called Do4. And on the right-hand side, we also have Do4. And then finally, on the left-hand side, we have something called Do Float 3 Do 4 Mix, which over here is... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound Part 27, Intuiting and Connecting, Commitment, Needs. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we really like what we're calling the longer Do 4 composition, with alternating lines and themes. And the themes and arpeggios combine at times, making a third implied melody. Also, we reflect that it was time to get writing on a joint paper project, and we also worked on Vocaloid 5, which is now keeping our attention and interest. Also, the mix you just heard is catching our interest, especially more implied themes and rhythms. So, what we're going to do is show you several things that we did today, musically and visually. We updated Vocaloid 5. Vocaloid 5 which has three parts and is kind of a fugue state. So we added this uh, part down here, anticipating line two. Then we went through here and we did quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit of stuff. But the easiest way to look at, at the new version is to look at our uh, animation of it. So let us play through the new improved animation of Vocaloid 5 and reminding ourselves that the triangles are voice and the squares are piano. Here we go.
Yeah, we like it. Uh, we like changing it to the horizontal, expanding and contracting. We like having clear sections of all piano, all voice, or in this case, all triangle, all squares. And so we're going to repost that. We're, we're kind of tickled with that. So that's the new uh, Vocaloid 5. Now what we did with the um, Floating World 3 and Doe 4, Doe 4 sounds quite nice, and we're thinking about animating this. Let's play a little bit of it. So what we ended up doing is we took the original, then the reflected, and at the very end we play them in unison. And then we have two arcs in the middle where we swap uh, who's doing what. The the thing is that this we lose we lose oral interest in this one. It's it's long, and then the middle kind of drags a bit. So we we do need an idea here, is to relook at. Um, look at sustaining doe for interest on its own. Now, one of the experiments that we did is that amusing overlay that we just played for you. Now, this one, this is the mix. We took the fast boogie, so to speak, and then the, the whole thing. So you're going to hear the whole doe for now, but you're going to hear it overlaid with what we call float three. Here we go. So that concludes today's episode. What we really like about this 
mix is how it ends. It's an overlay of a 9-8 on a 4-4. Four, four. And it's the same tonality. And what we like is we know that the upper fast arpeggios, they're following a selected sequence of cadences and a repeated similar pattern of fast arpeggios. But the cadences are not synchronized with the cadences of this is the lower part. So we're deliberately, you know, commingling things. Uh, some of them are the same, some of them are different. But in doing so, we hear these intriguing episodes where they suddenly come together and then go apart and come together and go apart. We call that implied melody and implied rhythm. So our ideas for next time are to continue progressing the joint paper project continue exploring the gelling of current music pieces in play uh, keep exploring vision ideas and music we did start a video edit um, and we also we do we do we do we do, let's put that in here before we forget let's uh, continue exploring the float three do four series so shout outs to Silent Lurker, several of you today. Structured Disorder Er <laughs> The Commitment in the Background and Steady Worker. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back and do keep on streaming.